like it, yeah. Everybody, it's me, John Ralston. I'm your host for Ralston Live once again here at PBR Studios in Perkasy. We are fortunate today to have Karen Chalou. She's with an organization called Sisters U. If you want to play along, you can go on the web. It's Sisters, the letter U. dot org. Karen, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I've been trying to get you on here for uh, the show's been here at PBR for a year, and I've been trying to get you on just about that long. I I know, and thank you for your patience. I certainly appreciate it. Well, you're a very busy person. Uh, you've started this great organization, but Thanks. you're also uh, involved in a law firm and. Uh, you know, what kind of law do you practice there? Well, I'm not a law firm. I'm, okay. I, I no longer work at, I, I believe you're speaking about the local law firm, Webercraft and Shalhoub. Yeah. Yeah, so. Shalhoub, yeah. Well, Chalou. That, that, Chalou. That's what tipped me off. Yeah, so I was Chalou. there for 30 years, but I've moved on now, and I have a, a business in Newtown called My Divorce Solution, and we specifically help couples navigate the divorce process in a very different and unique way. Oh, interesting. Well, we have to have another another show about that, right? (laughs) Absolutely. Oh, that's great. Now, uh, Sisters You, you have a milestone coming up. Actually, today is the celebration of that. Nine years. Nine Nine years years. today. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're live here on Vimeo today. Uh, We don't usually... uh, go on live even though Ralston live live is in part of the name we started off as live way back uh, on WMPV radio but um, yeah you know it's great to have you here Thanks. because tonight you're having the event it's on a Thursday night and I just want to let my WMPV listeners know you're hearing this on a Saturday so this has already happened <laughs> but uh, tell us about the event tonight so Sisters U is all about developing community and developing the individual woman by fostering self-growth. So we really like to incorporate local community all the time. So we have Nourish Kitchen and Catering coming to our meeting tonight. They're, they're also a young, new business in Percocy. The tomb owners, Alicia and Christine, are going to be telling their story. Every meeting we have, someone's sharing their story. And they're going to be demonstrating an amazing blue drink because it's uh, Sisters You on Blue tonight. We're all wearing blue. Oh, very nice. And uh, demonstrating how to put together a charcuterie board. I don't know if you know, but charcuterie boards is all the rage. What is a charcuterie board? So it's a big wooden board that you put all types of appetizers on. Okay. It's so popular. Oh, yeah. very nice. So we're all going to learn how it's to do that It's the new tonight. thing. It's stylish. Absolutely. We always talk about our word of the year. So everyone will have their word of the year. We'll talk about what we've accomplished in the last year and um, all move forward together. So, so it's a really fun about, celebratory night. Um, you have regular meetings. How often? The third Thursday of every month, 7 to 9. 7 to 9. Starts third at, Thursday. So once a month. Once a month. Wow, that's great. Mm-hmm. Now, when uh, when people show up to the meeting, what's the format? Uh, right. Yeah, so we always have a sister telling a story or a non-sister. Someone like you could come in, some community uh, member. I could come in to Sisters You. You absolutely How could. About that? We Sometimes we have younger kids come in and share what's going on in their lives. So we it's a, it's a kind of a snapshot into somebody's life. So wow. when we talk about stories, it's not your life in a chronological from A to Z. It's not always about business. No. Well, it's usually not about business. We say when you share your story, you're talking about a pivotal moment in your life that changed you forever and how you navigated through that. Because what we find is our society, we can be very disconnected. But when someone's sharing something that happened to them or something that they did that was wonderful, 
there's always the person in the audience that can relate to that and say, oh, that happened to me. And so that's a connection that they would not have had before. So a lot of relationships are created through this storytelling. I imagine you've had some important stories. You, uh, very, you wouldn't even believe. Yeah. Yeah, because what you see in your neighbor, in your friend, in your community member on the street is something very different when they're sharing a, something about themselves that they wouldn't ordinarily share. I think everybody has a it's story, amazing. you know, especially Absolutely. when you get to my age. Uh, everybody yeah. pretty much has a story. And uh, I tell people that all the time. I, I'm like, wow, that's an amazing story. You ought to come tell it on my show, you right? know? Uh, it's but, fabulous. But some it's people fabulous. are, you know. Yeah. Uh, we always have a speaker as well, um, what we call um, on a topic that women can relate to. So we're trying to help. I say to everyone, when you walk through the doors of Sisters U, you leave the entire world at the door. It's about you. It's about fostering self-growth. So sometimes we have speakers talk about how to look at a will or how to something about nutrition. We had the CEO of Grandview Hospital, Jean Keeler, come and oh, just talk really? about her yeah. experience as being the only female attorney on the Bar Association at one point. So we have all of these wonderful presenters talking to us about different topics that are really relevant to us. Next month we have um, a professor from Delaware University talking about transitions in life and how they kind of repeat themselves and how you look back and how things are replicated. It's That's going to be very interesting too. How important mm -hmm. are partnerships like uh, Penn Community Bank I saw as one of your partners mm -hmm. on? We value all local community partnerships. Some are not so local. Parks Casino is one of our partners as well. But we they're integrated with Sisters U more to promote diversity um, in the workforce. But we're not a business group. We foster the individual because we really believe that fostering that helps us to be better family members, better community members, and better to each other and really able to um, kind of face life with renewed energy. I imagine you're celebrating some of the things you've done over the years with the community. Could you mm -hmm. mention some of those things? Um, this past year or just generally? And, and over the whole nine years. Huh? Yeah. So we do a lot of give backs to nonprofits. So we'll join together. We do the Five Alarm 5K. Um, that's typically in November. And um, it's such a fun race. But Oh, is that over at the college there? It is. We yeah. partner with Bucks County Community College. It's usually on a Saturday morning. Uh-huh. Um, and the proceeds from that go to support a student from their um, fire. Um, they have fire school, so we were able to give a scholarship to that. Um, and also, we, we gave money right back to the Perkesee Fire Department. So we were able to do that. I believe and, we promoted that in some way or did. fashion yeah. with another group. We did a trip with the Carpenters Union down to Ronald McDonald House to deliver an entire truckload of tabs. Wow. So I don't know how many pounds it was, but it was incredible. We had a local school have um, their, the kids collected the tabs and we took them down. We collect food for Penrich Fish. We did that at Christmas. So we, we picked different nonprofits to kind of work towards. Um, we have another event that we do with Bucks County Community College called Best Foot Forward. And through that event, we're able to give scholarships back to students who attend Bucks County Community College. So we, so we have a program called Launchpad. That's a six-module program that Penn Community supports. Um, they're our main sponsor for that. But it helps connect not only college students, but any community member can come for free. Lunch is provided, but it connects their education to their career. And it's really, it's things like this um, semester, we have a professional photographer doing headshots for free to the students. So that's really wonderful. They learn how to navigate LinkedIn. They know how to walk into a room, know how to do the first handshake, know how to have a simple it's, conversation. It's a fabulous the program. The basics uh, of yeah. communication. Of integrating you know, it's, into a it's job. It's very important. Yeah. Know? 
So that program's really wonderful, too. We really enjoy um, being a part of that. So, I can go on and on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you have a, for instance, you have an annual Christmas party. At, at the Shalou House. At the Shalou House. At the Shalou House. So my husband, he's a chef. Well, he's not a professional chef, but we all call him the chef. The chef. Um, so he usually makes a really special dish, and um, we re- it's really a celebratory night as well. Uh, but that's really a fun night. Yeah, inviting everybody in, into our home. That's great. Uh, If you're just joining us, we're talking with Karen Shalou. She is the CEO and founder of Sisters U at sisters, the letter U, dot org on the web. And uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, what's a compassion bag? Oh, I'm so glad you asked about that. So we connected with Britt Carpenter of Philly Unknown. He's He's out of Philadelphia, but he has a fabulous nonprofit that works to help people who are addicted to drugs, homeless people on the streets. So we did a project with Chamayo Gallery where we created more than 200 compassion bags. The community came in, sports teams, families, um, and he was able to take them back. We did reserve a portion of those bags to give to Between Friends Outreach, which sure. is the local we've had, outreach. We've had them on yeah. here, I think. That's, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we kind of shared between the two of them. But the compassion bags are needed items for people just who have nothing. So it's socks and combs and snacks and gum and ponchos for wow. the rain. It's, yeah. it's really humbling. To, to do this um, and we really do love to work with Britt he's an amazing person if you have not checked out his nonprofit it's called Philly Unknown Project he's amazing really he's amazing uh, um, yeah we'll have to check yeah. that out maybe we'll have him on the show yeah we're going to do another one this year they, they've done a documentary on him and I believe we're going to be able to show that documentary at the event this year That's so fantastic. we'll do another one well, we thank you for all that hard work that you're doing it's fun. Uh, for the homeless. And, yeah. uh, that yeah, that's of that's one fun, of the things we, yeah. we try and promote here mm-hmm. is uh, helping out and uh, being part of the community, mm-hmm. uh, but also trying to tackle some of those big problems that we still seem to have. Yeah, it's prevalent and helping the community and the kids be aware of it and and to be able to do something about it, to be able to respond to it, is just so rewarding. What is the wine, woo, and spirits? Oh, that is super fun. <laughs> it sounds like it. It sounds like I'm going to the next one, that's for sure. So we closed down the streets uh, between, um, I think it's Market, or it's 6th Street, and... I don't know, up by Community Bank. Okay. And we have practitioners who do um, <clears throat> massage and Reiki and the crystals, all kinds of um, natural. I, I don't even know what to call that specific area. Holistic. Uh, yeah, holistic health. Uh, that's exactly very popular it. in Perkasie and yeah, Sellersville. It is. Yeah. And we have amazing practitioners. And so, it's, again, to kind of introduce people. Of, to all these different areas of holistic health. So it's a really fun night, um, and people just sign up for different services, and you get to meet a lot of people, and you get to talk to someone about your past life or maybe someone who's passed on. So it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty well, it sounds like you have a really successful organization. Um, I put together uh, a business organization way back in the day, and uh, we just collected a few bucks here and there, and uh, it wasn't about the money, but mm-hmm. f- soon it, we, we found out we had money that we had to give away mm-hmm. to the community, so we did to, like, it was called Indian Valley Housing back then, okay. and now it's Keystone Opportunity. Yeah, and, um, you know, so we would... It's amazing how much money you can collect in Mm -hmm. like $2 at a time at a a meeting. Mm -hmm. Um, Are are there organizations that you uh, are are actually giving a helping support? Financially? Financially. 
what we do is mostly we do scholarships back to Bucks County Community College just because we partner with them so much and mm-hmm. we're, we really are about education and support. So that's where we throw our financial resources um, back to the local nonprofits, whether it's Penridge Fish or the fire department or, like I said, scholarships at Bucks County Community College. That's great. Uh, mm-hmm. Where would you like to see uh, the organization go from here? I want more and more people to know about it. I would love to have Sisters U all over the place because it is really an enriching and rewarding organization. And it's the only organization that I know of that doesn't have an agenda. We're not promoting anything. We're just really supporting community and the individuals in the community in whatever way we can. It's great to have people like yourself come on. Uh, you know, you have a certain amount of uh, humility, which I don't have. I was never, <laughs> I was born with that gene. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate when people like you are able to come on and you have a, uh, a genuine uh, need to help out the community. And uh, we really appreciate you coming on the show today. And Thanks. We wish you a lot of luck tonight. Thank you. We're excited. You expect a lot here. of people to show up? We're sold out. Tickets were sold out. So we meet in the, what we call the Sisters U headquarters. It's at 528 West Market Street and can only hold so many. So we sold out tonight. Yeah. This just in, uh, we become a media sponsor for Sisters U. We just talked about it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We didn't even shake on it yet, <laughs> but uh, I promise you we will. We're a media sponsor, PBR Productions. Uh, we are happy to uh, be able to let people know about when you're having meetings, um, how they can sign up, and, you know, basically – what you need to do, folks, if you want to find out more about this organization, you want to go to the website. It's sistersu.org. It's also .com, but uh, the .org sounds uh, more nonprofity. Yep, is that absolutely. It, it does. Uh, am I and articulate or what? You non-profit-y. did a great job. <laughs> Karen Shalou, we thank you so much for coming, finally getting here. Thank and you for uh, we only me. have to have you on another four times to find out all the other things that you're doing Sounds in the community. Great. And we thank you for your effort in the community. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Folks, when we come back, we have more for you here on Ralston Live. Go to Facebook.com slash Ralston Live to see all of our interviews that we've had. Uh, I just got a book from the author who was on last week. Uh, It was uh, John Paul Mendoza. And he was on, he just sent me this book. John, I want to let you know, I got the book, look. So (laughs) he shipped that out. And uh, once again, you can get his book at positiontowinbook.com. And uh, I want to let you know, all the interviews that are on Facebook, they're going to be transferred over to YouTube. And we're going to have information about how you can get hooked up with that real soon. So uh, I want to thank you once again. uh, Karen, thanks so much for being on the show. Of course. Thank you for having me. Folks, till next time, this is Ralston Live. I'm your host, John Ralston. We'll see you then. Don't dream it. Try it. Yeehaw! Come on down to Tim Delmo. I'm Jess. New, used, rental, stolen, we got it all. Now, half the start. Come on down to Tim Delmo Auto Motors. And Thursday night, it's ladies' night. 13% apple. I know you can afford it. I drift past your kids' school. The only pressure is it. The pressure. The only pressure. Yee-haw! The only pressure is in the tire. Yee-haw! Come on down.